The initial vote on Brett Kavanaugh's Supreme Court nomination is set for today. And now Kavanaugh is opening up about his testimony last week in an op-ed in the Washington Street Journal, or the Wall Street Journal, rather. Kavanaugh admits he may have been too emotional and said things he shouldn't have said. Our John Keller has more. Good morning. As we recorded this commentary, it seemed likely that Republicans in Congress were poised to complete the elevation of Judge Brett Kavanaugh to the Supreme Court, perhaps as soon as this weekend. Voters across the country will have a chance to render their verdict on that on November 6th, and if confirmed, Judge Kavanaugh will have ample opportunity over the coming decades to prove or disprove the validity of the concerns about him. But before any of that happens, there are a few things we know for sure. One is that the White House displayed contempt for the seriousness and independence of the highest court when they bypassed a list of distinguished, non-political conservative jurists in favor of a judge with a long track record of political partisanship. Kavanaugh's strident role in the Whitewater probe of the 1990s and the lingering partisan vitriol he displayed in last week's hearing really should have kept him off the short list. We can fully expect this poor judgment to be repeated by the Democrats when they inevitably regain control of the White House and Senate down the road. They didn't exactly cover themselves with glory in this whole process, damaging their own credibility by latching on to dubious allegations beyond those made by Dr. Ford. And failing grades go out to just about everyone involved in the D.C. political culture for injecting ever-increasing doses of poison into the body politic. The nasty tone and corrosive partisanship that's been festering for years is now worse than ever. And if you think it's about to suddenly improve, you'd better think again. Share your thoughts with me via email at keller at wbztv.com or reach out on Twitter at Keller at Lard.